Chris, what is our second main topic today? It's a Rob topic. It's a Rob topic, Yay! and it's not Star Trek. <laughs> it's from Karen Gouda. Hey, John and crew. Been a fan since the beginning of the pandemic, and now listen every day on my way from work, home from work. Yay! Aww. Have you guys seen the viewership numbers for Moon Knight? Well, it looks like the premiere outperformed both WandaVision and Hawkeye. For me, this is wild. This is the debut of a new character and not someone who has been in previous MCU movies, unlike the other shows. What are your thoughts? All right, thanks for sending that in, Karen. I listen, I honestly didn't know what to where to set my expectations like for what is the audience size going to be for something like Moon Knight. Because while the trailer was really cool, nobody knows who this character is. I mean, and normally when we say stuff like that, we're talking about, you know, the the those the average film goer who doesn't read a lot of comics. There's a bunch of people who maybe semi-regularly read comics that have never heard of Moon Knight. Oh, yeah. And a lot of hardcore comic fans that know who Moon Knight is but really don't know much about Moon Knight. And so I didn't know what the reaction, the response would be to what a lot of people tune in to watch it. Now, of course, we heard that the first episode was going to be great. We tuned in. It was great. By the way, today is game day. Game, game day. day. Moon Knight's on tonight, and I'm so excited to watch it. I'm so stoked. I love the first episode. Cannot wait. But so how many people would tune in? Well, a hell of a lot of people tuned in. Actually, more people tuned in to watch it than some other well-known, established MCU characters. This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write the following. Marvel's five-day premiere last week of deeper universe uh, pro pro protagonist. I always want to say protagonist. Anyway, protagonist Moon Knight hooked 1.8 million U.S. households, a figure that ties with the first frame draw of Disney Plus Marvel's Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but is ahead of Hawkeye over the same number of days by 20%. That Jeremy Renner, Haley Steinfeld series clocked 1.5 million in its first five days from November 24th to the 28th. Essentially, the Disney Plus Wednesday through Sunday premiere of Loki from June 9th through 13th remains as the most watch of a Marvel series, uh, or, for that matter, any series on the streamer, including the Mandalorian series, Thor's brother pulled in 2.5 million U.S. households. Loki also holds the record for the most watched Disney Plus season series finale over five days with 1.9 million U.S. households measured from July 14th through the 18th. So, while it is not the number one thing, nobody in the world expected it to be the number one thing. But if you had asked me... You except one. Well, I know I don't even think I don't even think him. But if you had asked me six months ago, do I think that this show could outdraw in its first episode Hawkeye? No. I mean, I didn't think Hawkeye looked that good, and I ultimately I didn't enjoy Hawkeye that much. But I never would have thought that an OG Avenger would not be able to draw as many opening numbers, and it had decent opening numbers but not be able to draw the opening numbers as Moon Knight, that Moon Knight would actually outdraw it. And if you had asked me six months ago, do I think Moon Knight can pull in the same premiere numbers as Falcon and the Winter Soldier? No way. No way. And yet it did. And here's the thing. I'm not surprised at all that it outdrew WandaVision because that was their first show. Nobody knew if these shows were going to be any good or have any quality to them, whatever. That's fine. But I... I have a sneaky suspicion that we're going to see the growth pattern that WandaVision had. Because remember, WandaVision just grew and grew and grew as week after week after week people talked about it because it was amazing. I still think the best show they've done so far. But this has the feelings to me of that. I mean, if the quality of the first episode can follow through tonight, then we could see the growth of this. Loki ended its finale with 1.9 million. I think Moon Knight could outpace that. I think if this thing follows the pattern of WandaVision and just grows and grows and grows and grows, I think we could get to the series finale of this or the season finale and find it out drew, drew even Loki. So, I mean, these are incredibly impressive numbers. Rob, you had a chance to take a look at these numbers. Are you surprised as many people tuned in? What do you attribute that to? And where do you see the show going now? I, I actually think the fact that Moon Knight is an unknown quantity with most people is it served this show mm. because it wouldn't it was not off putting to people who are not steeped in in the MCU. It had two movie stars essentially 
in it, Oscar Isaac and, of course, um, Handsome Hawk. And it, it looked intriguing. It, it, it didn't look like your typical superhero story, the way they're playing with uh, mental illness, what is real, what is not, uh, that fight club aspect to it. There's, it does not feel, and it was not sold as a traditional superhero show. And I think a lot of people tuned in intrigued, even people that are fans of comics who knew nothing about Moon Knight. They're like, well, I'm going to check that out. That looks interesting to me. And so there is no, I don't think there's any MCU fatigue with this show. And I think it just seemed like something fresh and new. And that's what drew viewership to it. Chris, you had a chance to see these numbers. Number one, are you surprised that it's drawn this big, especially as an unknown character? And where do you think it's going to go? And what do you attribute its success to so far? I think so much of this has to do with Oscar. I think this is Oscar Isaac because... My friends who are not into comic books have been texting me all the time about this show of just, hey, what's this character about? What's the deal here? Why is Oscar Isaac, do Oscar Isaac doing this? Which I love that question. Like, why is this actor making it? I don't know. Money and fun? I don't know. Why do we do anything? Money and fun. That's that's probably Well, it. have you ever seen Oscar Isaac, the picture, like he's done interviews? Do you know what he has behind him at his house? Mm-mm. Hot toys. Yeah, Ooh, he's a big hot he's toy. A, he's a big old nerd. I love now he's this. getting a hot toy. I mean, I think that part that of that is that was part of the appeal to Probably. It. But I think he really draws in a lot of people who we wouldn't see otherwise. And like y'all were saying too, the the intrigue of this show, the fight club aspect, the mental illness aspect that they're actually exploring in a very, very interesting and yeah. thoughtfully done way. It's not a gimmick. It's not some kind of MacGuffin. Um, I think that all plays into this too. And I do think for so many people as well who might be feeling that superhero fatigue because i do know some people are feeling that a little bit this is such an interesting take on the superhero genre that i think that's really enticing some other people who maybe don't want to go see you know every single marvel project but this one has enough new exciting aspects to it that they're tuning in you know what else john it's really well done mm -hmm. i think when people tune into this it's a it's a really high quality show that has great production values, and I think when people look at it, it's a rousing entertainment, and I think people tell their friends. I saw this thing; it was really great. You should check it out. I'm curious to know Ray's thoughts on this because Ray, you watched you watched the first episode with us. Were you expecting it to get this big, considering nobody heard of it, and and why do you think it's caught on with people so much? Um, I don't know why it's caught on. I for me, not knowing anything about Moon Knight something i was very attached to the uh the screen i don't know what it was i it's probably what chris said oscar isaac he carried that whole first episode i i went on the journey with him like feeling the paranoia like yeah, yeah you were there john i was like every yep. sound i heard behind me i was like what was that yeah like, sure. you <laughs> that was just a tv show no no because like john has a sound system too <laughs> where it sounds like things are coming from it's behind you like, what's going what's going so on, there was a, on the especially that hallway scene i was like oh, oh scene, what's it's coming so it's coming <laughs> but you know what um i want to point out something rob uh mentioned about how not a lot of people know this character and i i i think it helps this show because uh, if uh, too many people like know the character then you'll be seeing these videos about Moon Knight sucks. It's not like this or like Hashtag that. Hashtag not my Moon Knight. Yeah, not my moon it's, it's it's exactly what the the Halo show is going through right now. Right. Where it's kind of like, I don't know. I it's just like, if you don't like something, just don't watch. I don't know why people like to complain because it's things are already filmed. They're not going to change it because of complaints. If you don't like it, watch something you like, and you know, talk about something you like. I think it takes too much energy to talk about something you don't like. <laughs> But anyways, but Moon Knight is great. I'm sorry, just a little tangent there. Moon Knight is great. I can't wait for the next episode. I can't. I think they'll delve into the actual costume character yes. more tonight, yeah. which is what I'm interested in. Why does he turn into this yeah. thing? What is his motives when he is this thing? What? The what's with the scarab? I, I, okay, so yeah. what, what's the significance? Yeah, what's the significance of scarab? I thought it was the Power Rangers badge for a minute. Like I wasn't quite sure what was going on. With well, that well Moon Knight run into the uh, the the other creature eventually, which is the matchup I want to see, building up with Ethan Hawke too. I want to see what he now that he knows he can't read uh, Oscar Isaac's character. What is he going to do now? Is he going to continue pursue him? What's his goals? 
you know um it, there's still a whole bunch of mystery but it's good mystery a mystery that i want to see solved and not like uh yeah i don't want i don't care well you but, know i was gonna ask a question though what what was the name again of the egyptian deity that handsome hawk worships Amit. was uh, it Amit? yeah that's right so he mentions a story that Ahmet was betrayed by one of the other. Do you think Khonshu is the one that betrayed? I would think so. Yeah, uh, something okay. like that. Uh, that could be. Well, you brought up something, John. You know, even I, as a diehard Moon Knight fan, unlike, say, something like Star Trek, where I have very, I'm a fundamentalist. I have very s specific ideas about what Star Trek should be. With this <laughs> show, I should be. I should be like the fundamentalist Moon Knight fan. But the thing is. There is no real definitive Moon Knight. Moon Knight has been such an iterative character since 1975 that I love Moon Knight, but it's never... Moon Knight, I'll be honest, never been that good. There's been some good runs. Jeff Lemire wrote good runs. Brian Bendis' run was weird, but it's Brian Bendis, so you read it and go, yeah. oh, Brian Bendis. But, but um, I have been fascinated because it's new and... As much as I love Moon Knight, they're giving me a different version of the character that uses all these different things. So even for me as a longtime fan, I'm going into it like, wow, this is really interesting. And I think it would work anybody who's interested in good television or good drama or good fantasy or good comic book characters. There's something to find to like in this for all audiences, I think. Also, Rob, I... I wasn't taking shots at you for like with your Star Trek thing. You have every right with Star Trek. You're like a special case because you've been a fan of that thing. I'm talking about. Uh, I'm a special needs Star Trek fan. <laughs> anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about these? Like Moon Knight for a character that nobody's ever heard of is outdoing shows like Hawkeye going neck and neck with like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, why do you think that is? And do you think it can continue that success? Whatever you guys' thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. Guys, we want to take a minute and thank a sponsor of today's video, Viore. Now, you know, Ann and I like to work out and train several days a week, but the thing is, I want to be comfortable and not look like a slob at the same time, and I often have a hard time finding something that does both. But Viore, everything is designed to work out in, but it doesn't look or feel like it's made to be worked out in. It is so comfortable, you will want to wear this stuff all the time. Now you guys know I like some flexibility and versatility in the clothes that I wear, but that's where Viore comes in. See, it can be used for just about any activity like running, training, swimming, yoga, but it's also great just for lounging around or going out on the weekends in. For example, take the men's core shorts. These are the most comfortable and one of the best looking pairs of shorts that you can own and they're versatile. One pair of shorts for just about every sport that you can play. Or take the men's Sunday performance jogger. These pants are perfect for lounging around in or going out for a good run. Viore is an investment in your happiness. For our viewers, they are offering 20% off your very first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash campia. That's V-U-O-R-I dot com slash campia not only will you receive 20 percent off your first purchase but enjoy free shipping on any u.s orders over 75 dollars and free returns go to viore.com slash campia and discover the versatility of viore clothing 